Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland, and the rest of the world, Supersonic's Money Transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network in the Gambia, you can now receive your monies anywhere you are, from Kartong to Koina, with less hassle. Yes! You can receive monies from your family and friends in UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland, and the rest of the world with our safe, secure, fast, and convenient service that offers you the largest selection of payout locations in the Gambia. Supersonics Money Transfer. We are currently in 34 African countries and counting, giving you quality money remittance services that are second to none. Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. Parce que nous avons adoré une chose à nous, car nous avons dit le signifie. Il était du mal, il était pour du mal, le bala. Au final, pour du mal, le final, le bala. Nous allons décrire ça à la situation. À qui que nous n'avons, nous n'avons jamais de mal. Babu, il connaît des nouveaux jibé. Il connaît Carlon Koye même fois. Hamas à la situation. Mota, Gambian Channel TV, et Ibu Agba nous talk, nous ne, nous fuck, nous donnons une adresse à la situation. Nous tout alpha qui est la dimanche, qui est couru non yadi, qui est couru yadi, le football qui est roulant bang. Fodum. Et quand on a le deal, on fait comme on fait le deal. On a un programme qui est le BOBC. Donc, si on a un peu de temps, on a un peu de temps. 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 Nenaran, ku waktu seanda, anu bodoh nak fikir program. Tel dinding mangka je, kebal ka julu city euro balai kafu finja julu. Kau kau bersiring, ibu kau maju jalan, kau mula bicara dok. Tari call for la dinding wali. Dudah anda mah, dudah amat dudai. Lamota top sun nasaran, fate sun ada asyikan. Ake kenu nyaming, ada asyikan. Ake kenu nyam. Top la nyu, aha mas bujur. Judah waktu, be judah nyam waktu. Fala mo ame si gamya tren TV. Ibula agbaw. Okay, good morning, uh, everyone, and welcome back to our weekly um, health talk show that we usually have at the Gambia Talents TV. So today is also another Sunday, and of course, we have another topic that we actually need to discuss. And also we have a special guest today that we are going to uh, talk about uh, or we have a special topic that we're going to talk about and also we have a special guest who is going to deliberate on that topic with us for the coming uh, one hour. So before going forward, I would like the guest to actually introduce himself. So you're welcome, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, good morning, viewers. And thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Banja, for having me in your show, um, Gambia Talent Show, uh, Hell Talk. Yeah, it's a pleasure being here. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Malik. Yeah. Thank you for coming and thank you for honoring our invitation. Coming, Mbadingo, Nka Fale Nyamengrek, Dimaso Dimasin Ka Kacha Sotojang, Ning Molka Kacha Sotojang, Membe Dendi Najata Kendeala Karola. That is in Kumanto and the Dimaso Dimas in Kanan and then Kacha Sotajang. So Kachan in Dung Kakening, uh, Angle Kamala and Iman Nikakan. So, uh, Puru Mojamal Safaham no Yaming, Shala. So, uh, Nabo Yama, um, be in a topical momenti, Walem, uh, to our Kafome acute kidney injury, Walla kidney disease, um, Memu Harbadula, Kohilola problemoti. So, but in Ba Bena. Bena luntango bula la idea mu ala ala fahamu roto aeming fahamu acute kidney injury to so Mr Malik what are your understandings about uh what are your uh what do you have to say about uh, acute kidney injury okay thank you very much uh Mr Banja um it's very the topic is very important topic uh and it's timely uh acute kidney injury acute kidney infection or acute kidney disease uh it's 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 very very important topic because um first before i want to elaborate on the topic itself like the acute kidney 
disease or injury, I would like to just have a brief of what is the kidney itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's very, very important. And I just want to give you a description of the kidney. We look at the kidney, it's like a bean shape, a bean shape mm -hmm. structure, uh, it's an organ, and it's located in either uh, sides of the spine. And if you look at it, it's between the T12 and then the L3. That's the thoracic 12 and the lumbar 3. That's where it's located. And it's partially covered by the, the rib, rib cages. It's partially covered by the rib cages. Okay. So, and it's highly vascularized. And if you look at it, um, the length is 10 centimeters. Mm -hmm. You look at the, the, the width, it's 5 centimeters. And the thickness is 3 centimeters. And it weighs 150 grams. So if you look at it, it's very, very important organ in our body. Mm -hmm. So it's like um, the functions of this, like the primary function is to excrete waste. Okay. But like there are other functions that the kidney does. Mm -hmm. So you look at like the kidney will regulate the blood pressure. Okay? Because uh, if you look at the, on top of the kidney, you have the adrenaline, mm -hmm. okay, which will secrete a hormone mm -hmm. called the uh, endosternum, mm -hmm. okay, which will regulate the blood pressure. It also helps in the regulation of the pH mm -hmm. of the blood. Understand? So it's, it also helps in production of red blood cells. So these are many more like the kidney does. So like the acute kidney disease, coming to the topic, if you look at it, so the, acute, the word acute there mm -hmm. is telling you it's just sudden. Like if this functions of the kidney, what the kidney does, and suddenly it stops or partially stops for a period of time, let's say from seven days to 90 days. That's the period, because beyond 90 days, then it's going, um, it's going to deteriorate and then it's going from acute to chronic. Mm -hmm. So this is the acute, it's sudden and painful. So that's uh, the function of the kidney. In, that, in this period, it's like, it's not doing its job as expected. Okay. Yeah, that is uh, in this period of time, seven to 90 days, mm -hmm. and then, if um, um, handled on time, mm -hmm. then you, it, it can be managed and it can be treated. But mm -hmm. if not, without um, medical intervention, mm -hmm. it uh, can go forward and deteriorate and then it can be chronic. So that's the... Uh, that's, that's a very good introduction or yeah. that's a brief summary of yeah. actually what we're going to talk about yeah. because uh, definitely you won't be able to talk about something if you don't know yeah. what uh, actually they are. Yeah. I'm sure we have a lot of people that are following mm -hmm. and they will definitely want to to know mm -hmm. what actually it is. Yeah. So um, coming to the kidney, I have a 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 nyanta ko le wala mon natopi ko bi so bot katia fo na jani be na ko no fe sa longe be nyanta katia la minala so a bole try kan ka explain mo le yeng teng and then uh, thank you very much for that okay. so uh, when you come to acute kidney injury yeah. mm -hmm. uh, of course there are so many functions that it might manifest yes um you know when someone has kidney injury mm -hmm. itself mm -hmm. uh, so many things will manifest yeah you understand and maybe we have some might have pain around the you know around the abdomen mm -hmm. some might have when when the kidney you know is filtering less mm -hmm. some might start having oedema itself yes so uh what are some other um symptoms that you can tell us about acute kidney injury yes um, thank you very much um yes um uh, mr banja okay if you look at the kidney as I said before, it does many functions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like if you look at some of the signs and symptoms of uh, if you have suffering from kidney injury or kidney disease mm -hmm. uh, that the individual might manifest. Okay, because the word acute there, some might not even manifest the symptoms. symptoms okay. okay, because the time you realize that, yeah, the symptoms are manifesting, then it's already advanced. Mm -hmm. But some of these symptoms, as you mentioned, they have pain. You have the flank pain, you know, at the back at the because back. the kidney is um, located posteriorly. Mm -hmm. So it's at the back, like you have flank pain. People have flank pain. You can have it on both sides. 
okay, both the left and the right, because it's two kidneys. We are naturally born with two kidneys. Okay. So not only that, you also have, uh, you, you talk about the edema, yeah, the, the, the swelling of the ankles, okay. and then the ricks, and mm -hmm. then also the facial puffiness. Okay. okay, it's also another sign. Okay, you also have metallic taste in your mouth. Okay, you also have another one, it's like a very important one, especially if there is problem in the filtration, you have low urine output, okay? The patient, uh, you have fatigue, you understand? You have fatigue, okay? So you see, all these things might manifest with time if the, if the, if the injury is not um, being taken care of uh, on time. Mm. So you start, the patient will start, uh, the individual might start manifesting this, the signs and symptoms. Yeah, these are some of them. Um, that's quite very true, mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned. Um, to be honest, uh, kidney injuries, like you said, mm -hmm. are something that uh, that is definitely claiming a lot of lives, yeah. especially of our youth. And then um, it is true, you know, the consumption of some of these products that we are having, maybe these medications, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. some of the foods that we consume, mm -hmm. or even alcohol. Mm -hmm. You understand so all those things are things that predispose us to um kidney injuries mm -hmm. or acute kidney injury or yeah. kidney disease yes. what do you have to say about people that uh actually make these things as as a habit okay thank you you mentioned a very important point mm -hmm. like um um some of the causes of this acute kidney injuries and then uh or diseases so if you look at it uh, you know like i just want to elaborate a bit if you mm -hmm go back and look at what are some of the causes of these injuries. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say, uh, some of them, some of the causes are, you have, let's say, dehydration okay. or hypovolemia. Okay. okay. So if you, if you are dehydrated or, hypo, or hypovolemia, it means you lose, you lost fluid and blood. Mm -hmm. Understand? That can uh, cause harm to the kidney. You also have another cause, might be blockage. Okay? Maybe the blockage can be like uh, you have a urethral blockage, or oh, they have that is a prostate uh, uh, prostatitis, okay. that's enlargement prostate. Mm -hmm. So you see, uh, this one also can cause kidney injury. You also have um, lack of insufficient blood supply. Mm -hmm. Let's say um, the individual is having um, uh, a heart problem. Okay, the kidney, um, the, the the amount of blood the kidney require to function is mm -hmm. not actually uh, coming to the kidney. Okay, this can cause harm to the kidney. Okay, you talk about a very important area, that's the drugs. If you look at it, uh, you have, uh, there is a, another cause, which is um, the renal, um, the impaired renal, mm -hmm. which is caused by, most of the time, is caused by uh, uh, this thing, you have uh, nephrotoxic drugs, okay, okay, or nephrotoxins. Mm -hmm. And this, one of them is the NCAs, that's the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Okay. Which, uh, if you look at it in the Gambia here, um, uh, we have uh, uh, a lot of pharmacies, mm -hmm. okay, and then uh, the the population, the population itself. So most of the people they believe that yes, um, if I have a little bit pain or whatever, I can manage my pain just going to the pharmacy, mm -hmm. step in, and then buy drugs, mm -hmm. okay, like the. The, uh, on the counter. So you see that they will go and then the, most of the time, if uh, you, I think you are familiar, they will just say, Jaima relief or mm -hmm. relief wafima. Yeah. So like, you see, the public is consuming this relief, this anti, uh, this NCAs too mm -hmm. much. And this, what they cause is, when the, the anti female drugs, when they go, what they will cause is, they will cause basal constriction, mm -hmm. okay, in the kidney. Mm -hmm. So you see, this will reduce the, hydro, uh, the hydrostatic pressure in the kidney, and this can cause harm. Mm -hmm in the kidney, for the kidney to do, to do its function. And if you look, if you go uh, to the pharmacies, people uh, working in the pharmacies, most of the time, uh, like some of the, 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 the proprietors, the owners of the pharmacy, they don't care like uh, what the patient, what they are looking for. They are looking for their money, mm -hmm. okay? But for we healthcare providers, we are looking for uh, the patient come first, mm -hmm. okay? But for them, money come first. So you see, now when they come to the pharmacy, they will just uh, try to pile up these drugs and give it to them, mm -hmm. and they will take. And then the, public, the, pub, the population should um, understand the fact that it's not every pain you should have to go to and take drugs. 
to manage it. At times, you allow the system to adopt. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, but for them, or oh, you go and seek um, uh, healthcare advice before you go in and buy these drugs. Mm -hmm. But they would just go randomly and then get these drugs. Buy my relief, relief for every month. You know, it's 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 been a habit. Mm -hmm. If it, sometimes they will tell you that, okay, if I don't take relief, I don't feel okay. It's just uh, it's, it's just the mindset. Yeah, yes. I, I I think that's a very uh, important point yeah. that everybody needs to be aware of. Yeah. Um, right now, you know, especially most especially in the Gambia, yeah. we have a lot of pharmacies that are operating down there, mm -hmm. and those pharmacies are actually you know they they, they are money making center. Yeah, to be honest, because at the end of the day, you the owner of the pharmacy need to pay your rent. And need to pay the owner of the lunching. You understand? Let's just try to be realistic yeah. to one another here. Yeah. So when someone comes to you, you'll prefer most of them, I would say 98 to 99 percent of them mm -hmm. will prefer to give these people a lot of drugs. Or even if they don't have the drug, they will say, Okay, you know them, but this one you can use this one. Exactly. They will they will definitely give you something <laughs> for you to take. Of course. Unlike from the hospitals. Yes. Because when you go to the doctor, mm -hmm. Or you know the nurse that is at the uh, uh, the outpatient the department, department yeah. mm -hmm. will definitely prescribe what you want to have, yeah. or what you should have. Yes. You understand? The only time you know, maybe if he or she did not know, because mm -hmm. you know you cannot know all. Mm -hmm. That is where the the the, the, the this treatment protocol came. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. When it is not available, you go in for the other choice of drug. Of mm -hmm. course, we have a lot of uh, we have different choices of drug yes, that yes. one might take, mm -hmm. but. The pharmacies are not the first place that one should visit, like yeah. you said. Mm -hmm. Like right now, um, a lot of things are happening. You know, um, people will put the blame that you know there is no drug in the hospital. When you go to the hospital, they will take you to the lab. They will take you to this place. At the end of the day, they will write drugs for you, and then you will not have the drug. Mm -hmm. This is where our responsibility comes in as a health worker. Mm -hmm. Fine, bringing drugs into the hospital is not the responsibility of the nurse or the doctor. Mm -hmm. That is what the one thing we should we should we should clear out. Yes. And you will realize that when patients come to the hospital, uh, they will come with a lot of aggression. Most of them will come with a lot of aggression. Mm -hmm. When you tell them go to the lab, they will be angry. You know, they will be angry at the nurse or the doctor that is taking care of them, not knowing that those people are there to to, to just walk. They don't come with medications from their homes. That's true. So there are people responsible of bringing medications to the to the to the to the hospital. So. Or health center. So if there is no drug in the hospital, definitely you will have someone prescribe a very someone who took the responsibility mm -hmm. to prescribe the most preferable drug for you. If you reach at that point, then that individual is responsible for anything that might happen to you mm -hmm. in the long run. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the pharmacy, you know, you go and buy drugs that might be harmful to your, your body. You just go and tell them, okay, I have a headache. Mm -hmm. What is causing the headache? They don't know. They give you relief or they give you paracetamol mm -hmm. or they give you something else. At the end of the day, you take them. Remember, all the things that we are taking are going down to the kidneys for filtration. Yeah. You understand? Know, that is actually, mm -hmm. there's nothing that you will take that mm -hmm. wouldn't go pass through the, the kidney, kidney for filtration. Yeah. Everything will go to the kidney. And that is why the kidney should not be overworked. Yes. So that point definitely reminds me of all these happenings mm -hmm. uh, right now. But we have a primary responsibility mm -hmm. as health workers. Yes. We should engage ourselves in counseling. We should try to talk to our patients as much as possible, mm -hmm. most especially through these kind of platforms when yeah. we have them. Yeah. We talk to the population and let them know that the hospital, even if you go there and then get checked without having medications, but you are a sort of, you know, getting the best yes, prescription yes. that you will need. Yeah. So let them go there. Mm -hmm. To bring the uh, uh, medications to the, to the hospital, mm -hmm. it is our responsibility and mm -hmm. their responsibility to mm -hmm. talk to the people that are responsible. We cannot, you know, say, okay, you cannot come to us and say, I'll borrow not now to mm, the hospital. Mm. No, that is not our responsibility. But us, with you, the patients, mm. some there are people responsible. You understand? We, 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 you know, we put them there. We talk to them, let them bring the dogs to the hospital. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I think that's a very important point that mm. you you actually uh, uh, talked about. Mm. So the other thing is, um, when you talk about uh, these kidney injuries, mm. you know, and you mentioned... Um, when someone has a heart failure or a heart problem, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. So um, we've realized that most mm -hmm. of the times mm -hmm. when people have kidney failure, eventually mm -hmm. they start developing other problems. Mm -hmm. So um, what will, what other disease will you have to tell us that has some relationship with 
kidney injury. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Banja. Mm -hmm. I just want to, just before answering that, I just want to add on to what you said, mm -hmm. uh, like what is happening. If you look at the epidemiology of like the kidney, acute kidney injury, mm -hmm. if you look at um, the mortality that the acute kidney, uh, kidney injury or disease cause is more than even breast cancer, mm -hmm. more than heart failure, wow. all those things. And if you look at it, like in the low income countries, mm -hmm. The, the the cause the uh, the, 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 the the cause mm -hmm. like up there mm -hmm. it's community acquired uh, kidney injuries okay you understand so the community who are the community you know you go back to the community because what you said is very important mm -hmm. you know going to the hospital to do check uh, routine checkup is very very important if in the hospital does not have drug but if you go there they will at least send you to the lab Mm -hmm. investigation uh, starts and then they will start investigating what is causing your pain or what is causing what mm -hmm. uh, your symptoms mm -hmm. so they can find out even mm -hmm. they don't have the drug but they would give you the right prescription mm -hmm. okay but now if you just decide to head okay hospital mm -hmm. doesn't have drugs it's not about you going to the hospital just for drugs mm -hmm. but even the investigation there it helps mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. to the patient because mm -hmm. the uh, the nature at which they will talk to you the counseling okay mm -hmm. understanding your disease condition understand it's far different from going to the pharmacy because mm -hmm. most of the pharmacies what they would do is they might not even employ a trained staff. individual trained mm -hmm. staff to work mm -hmm. like somebody who is trained and learns to work mm -hmm. no they are not looking for that they are looking for a puppet somebody who they can control they will tell you, okay give this drug you see somebody will direct you have no idea about drugs telling you give this drug give this various drugs which is wrong mm -hmm. and then if you look at the trend it's mm -hmm. like it's, it's very it's, it's very serious mm -hmm. okay coming back uh, to the this is condition that my cause I took a heart failure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let's say um, you have liver, mm -hmm. li li liver problem, liver cirrhosis, mm -hmm. or liver cancer. Mm -hmm. If you look at these organs, mm -hmm. okay, they all work together. You understand? The heart pumps blood. Mm -hmm. Understand? Pumps blood. The, the, the liver detoxify. The kidney filters. But if heart pumps blood, the liver uh, will detoxify, and it will reduce the workload of the kidney. Mm -hmm. The kidney will filter. And then the blood will go out. But remember, the uh, the, the, the lungs mm -hmm. pumps oxygen for the mm -hmm. kidney to function. Yeah. So you see, if one of the organ is having problem and it's not been taken care of, uh, there is no early intervention. Mm -hmm. the, you might affect the other one because if the kidney is having problem, then you are causing trouble to the uh, liver because you overwork the liver now. Mm -hmm. Understand? And if the kidney uh, should, uh, do, does the filtration, remove toxins from the body. So if this is not happening. And there will be accumulation. There will be pile of toxin in the body. What will happen? So you start sorting down the, the, the liver, mm -hmm. and then you start sorting down the, the the heart. As I said, the kidney regulates the blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So if the kidney is not functioning well, and then the adrenaline is not secreting this hormone, uh, the endosternum, uh, uh, which regulates the blood pressure, then there is a problem. The heart will have problem. The liver will might have problem. You see, that's a, if you have liver problem, you might have kidney. If you don't uh, uh, intervene, you might have kidney problem. If you have heart um, cardiac problem, if you don't intervene early, you might have kidney or liver problem. Mm -hmm. You see, these are organs that work together. So if any one of them have problem, if you don't take time, the other one will have problem. a problem. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, hypertension mm -hmm. also can cause, like you have hypertension, like the, the blood pressure goes mm -hmm. up. You have sepsis, uh, sepsis mm -hmm. like when the blood, uh, the blood is infected. Mm -hmm. sepsis, you can have sepsis shock, mm -hmm. and then you, you shut down the kidneys. You see, you have injury, direct injury to the kidney, mm -hmm. like they, they say RTA, mm -hmm. you know, which is another common <laughs> thing in the Gambia. Yeah. You know? So you see, that also can have impact and contact spot and other stuff, whereby they can hit you at the back, and then you have kidney injury. Mm -hmm. you see? Yeah, you've actually said a lot. Um, yeah when you explain the, 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 how these organs work together, yeah, yeah. then I believe the ones listening or watching would be able to say, I mean, you know, what conditions we are expecting because when the heart fails mm -hmm. or when the liver fails, mm -hmm. or, you know, all these organs mm -hmm. do work together, yeah. including the lungs as well, yes. then, you know, your system might definitely deteriorate yes. and that will eventually lead to a lot of, a lot of issues. Yeah. yeah a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. So, um, we, definitely want to clear the air mm -hmm. for the listeners mm -hmm. that is as to what kind of people are more vulnerable to have uh, this kidney injury or kidney disease yes okay um yes um the vulnerable ones mm -hmm. before it was like the elderly mm -hmm. the elderly ones uh, uh 
uh, those uh, 50 plus mm-hmm. that are the vulnerable ones because uh, uh, what happened is as aging as you aging mm-hmm. your organs uh, will yeah mm-hmm. exactly you start yeah. de- degeneration will occur so it might lose its function like let's say the muscles so you see even the, one of the cause also can be if there's a breakdown of muscles which will lead to um, sending protein mm-hmm. to the kidney and you know too much of protein is not good for the kidney yeah, yeah. exactly so you overwork the kidney mm-hmm. so uh, but nowadays it's, it, it's, it trend changes even the young ones are affected are affected so you might ask yourself where is this coming from mm-hmm. uh you said a very important point we talk about the drugs but also the food the food that we consume, it's very, very, very uh, important. Mm-hmm. So you see the vulnerable now, both the young ones and then the adults are all, they're all vulnerable. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, those people who are having underlying disease conditions, they are the most, uh, they are the most vulnerable ones. Mm-hmm. Okay. The ones with have the underlying disease conditions. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, how can one protect yourself from, from these kidney injuries? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, we, if you look at it, uh, the, the, the prevention of this, it's, uh, it's, it's it's simple if you look at the causes let's mm-hmm. say dehydration mm-hmm. you have to rehydrate yourself take a lot of water a lot of fluids okay it's very important during the day to take a lot of fluids especially the region we found ourselves it's very hot mm-hmm. so you see uh, you pass by you see you lose uh, you lose a lot of uh, fluids mm-hmm. okay so you have to take a lot of water it's not actually you have to go to the 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 the, the, the fridge and take the bottle and then just take one the, no. yeah. at times it's good to take sips mm-hmm. you take sips at least one or two three sips uh, in, in, in in intervals mm-hmm. and also you have if you have uh, these conditions make sure you take care of this adhere to medications mm-hmm. okay you have lifestyle modification mm-hmm. you have to modify your lifestyle let's say most of the, if you guess like um, the, most of these conditions, like the risk factors, most of the time you, you can have these two and you have it right. That is smoking and alcoholism. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, mm-hmm. yeah any of these conditions you see there, they will be there as a risk factor. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you see, you have to modify your lifestyle. Either what you do, like the smoking, you quit smoking, alcoholism, the same thing. The foods that we eat, dietary modification. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's not do, uh, just... Uh, Take, uh, you take this red meat we just eating, you think you're enjoying. No, you're causing harm, mm-hmm. causing damage. And we also have to exercise. It's key. Exercise is very, very important. Very important. You have to exercise. Okay? So avoid uh, things that can harm you, like that can cause injury directly to, uh, to uh, direct injury to the kidney. Mm-hmm. Okay? These are the things that you have to always adhere to medication. If you are hypertensive, take your drugs as prescribed. If you have, and then also very, very important, another very important thing is we have to go, to, we have to have the habit going to the hospital, mm-hmm. okay, so that we can have routine check. Like, if it's not, you don't only sit down there, you say, okay, if I start feeling discomfort, this time I'll go to the hospital. No, if you do that, because the time you, as I said, the acute kidney, before some, some, of, uh, some of the people, before it will manifest, mm-hmm. it's only the advance. But if you have the habit of going to the hospital like every six months or every one year, go into the hospital and then do a routine check. So sort of, uh, some of the diseases, can, you can cut them early and then you intervene and then they will just um, uh, disappear. Uh, that's very Im- important thing. You mentioned um, three things, that yeah. is alcoholism mm-hmm. and smoking mm-hmm. and also the food. Yeah. Uh, I, w- I would just start by the, you know, talking about the the smoking and then the alcohol like mm-hmm. smoking mm-hmm. we all know smoking predispose you to a lot of things yes. uh it is just unfortunate for us mm-hmm. that we have we tend to have a lot of smokers in this country nowadays mm-hmm. and you know funnily people are not abiding by the rules and regulations or the laws of this country yeah. that says um public smoking public mm-hmm. smoking you know should not be done yeah but you realize that you know even the people that are, that should be um enforcing the laws the laws are smoking in public of course and it, it it's very very funny exactly. you understand and then you don't know the one sitting near you is mm-hmm. consuming more toxin yeah. than you the one that is, that is smoking so second. we we call it at secondary smokers yeah. i think mm. this is something that we need to look at yeah you know it is very harmful to our health for alcohol i don't know i don't know you will see you know people you know looking at the 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 things that the alcohol or consumption of alcohol can cause compared to smoking, you will realize that alcohol can even predispose you to more harmful things than even smoking. 
yeah. even though all of them are but yet you see people smoking and there's no there's nothing you know done when it comes to alcohol consumption i don't know i don't know actually what why we have all those kind of things but it is giving the healthcare workers a lot of problems mm-hmm. it is giving our people a lot of problem when someone drinks alcohol anything that he does is not in line with you know the right thing yeah yeah you will either go and harm people or harm your health mm-hmm. or you know you you drive and then kill people and they will say you know he you know he was drunk and then you know and <laughs> things will end like that mm-hmm. i think we need to we need to look at things you know in a broader perspective mm-hmm. when you consume alcohol you know your immunity mm-hmm. will drastically not, reduce yeah, and this will predispose you to a lot of things you understand that is just you know on your own health mm-hmm. perspective mm-hmm. what you're going to do or the harm you're going to cause to the to the people around you is something else mm-hmm. you know and it is all geared towards the health so i think um the authorities mm-hmm. should actually because mm-hmm. alcohol it is something that you know many people are consuming when you talk to them mm-hmm you know they don't listen to you you even have to tell them they themselves you know anybody that smokes and drink alcohol will tell you i know it is not good for my health mm-hmm. but i cannot leave it that's what they will tell you mm-hmm. nobody will tell you that i enjoy smoking or i enjoy drinking alcohol you know that even though you enjoy taking the alcohol but you know it is not good for your health but then what can we do to reduce it what we can do as health workers mm-hmm. in the hospital you know is to take care of these people mm-hmm. you know um you know when they come to us sick we take care of them mm. you know we give them the drugs that are prescribed for them we come to these platforms and talk to them mm. about the dangers yeah. of consuming them okay. that's where we can stop that's true and if the last thing is food mm-hmm. nowadays we have a lot of these products <laughs> these jimbo products yeah it is some it is the thing that is killing every single you know 90% of the people that die of hypertension mm. or these kidney failures mm. because jimbo contributes to it you have a lot of you know different types yeah. you have this jimbo maji aja <laughs> different different names yeah at the end of the day you take them you know the enjoyment will stop at the tongue the rest is damage mm. the rest it will be harming your system until the last day so i think we should be very very careful um in those um you know in doing those things mm. you understand and you know we are getting closer to to the end of the program mm-hmm. but then um when you go to banjul mm-hmm. you realize there's a place called the the, the hemodialysis yeah. and you know you will definitely know that this place when when one reaches here mm-hmm. then a lot of things will come to your mind yeah. and they are working 24 hours before mm-hmm. you know the admission rate is very small it's yeah. very low but now you go there every time you pa- you find people on the dialysis machine was you understand so um at what point of the kidney injury or the kidney disease mm. do one needs this hemodialysis and if you know the hemodialysis works mm. how long do you have to remain on this hemodialysis machine okay yeah okay thank you very much uh, yes um yeah we all uh, worked at uh, banjul i have worked in the, in the hemodialysis unit mm-hmm. i have seen uh, uh, the admission rate in that unit Mm-hmm. like you go it the beds are full to uh, full to capacity mm-hmm. yes um you see this as i said the acute kidney disease or injury mm-hmm. okay it's acute it's sudden like um yeah from 7 days to 90 days if managed well like some of them might be caused by um, let's say it's caused by uh, bacteria or you might take antibiotics mm-hmm. that will help the individual and then the kidneys will regain its function mm-hmm. but if it's not been taken care of then it might go to a chronic stage mm-hmm. okay some people are in the hemodialysis they are there just there for temporary reason they're okay. just allowing the kidney to they're just giving room for the kidney to to to, to come back okay to do it for some so minor even they will do uh, this three four times and then they will stop so the kidney will kick in and they will start doing it for some but if the kidney disease now passes the acute stage and goes to the chronic stage and these stages they have stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 the end stage mm-hmm. You understand that's the end uh, the end renal failure that one doesn't really like go back is dialysis forever or transplanted so some of them are there they have been there for 10 years more than 10 15 11 years no you can count it so you have to be on that machine and you look at how big that machine is and how the kidneys are small but even the machine doing that the machine cannot even do it all 
The person cannot filter all those things that uh, that are necessary. Because if you look at the formation of urine, I know there's no time for us to go in the formation of urine, but it's very complex. Mm -hmm. So the machine cannot do all those filtration, reabsorption, absorption here, and then secretion and excretion. You know, the machine cannot do all those things. So the machine will do what it uh, what it what can, can yeah. and then the rest. Uh, so some, if you are in the end stage, they will be there until uh, because that's it's just uh, palliative care, it's just management. Mm -hmm. You have to manage the patient, makes the patient comfortable uh, as long until or the the, the 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 last solution is the uh, the patient can have a donor, mm -hmm. and then you do kidney transplant. But without that, if the both kidneys are damaged at end stage, it's dialysis. That's the only solution. I think, um, you know, you've said it all. Then when we get to that point, it is very, very important for people to take care of our kidneys, drink plenty of fluids, and then, you know, avoid holding urine. It, it is a, it is a exactly. habit to, to many of the people, yeah. you know, that actually when, they've, when they have the all to urinate, they will say, let me finish up this, and then I can go. Or I'm in class, the lesson is, you know, it's important. <laughs> I cannot go out. Yeah, that's the understand? Yeah. So all those things are, you know, things that can actually predispose you to these kidney mm. injuries. Yes. So um, those are very, very important mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So what other thing do you have to to tell people when it comes to protecting yourself from acute kidney injury or from kidney injuries? Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, Mr. Banya. Just from where I just stopped, I just I will just pick. Um, pick up from there as you said uh like holding the urine it's 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 uh very very important some people will uh, tend to they will be pressed and then they will still say that okay let me just uh, complete this let me just do this oh i am outside so i have to wait until i get to my house mm -hmm. no you don't do that because if the bladder is full what will happen there will be a backflow mm -hmm. and then this backflow they can go with uh microorganisms bacteria you are taking it back to the kidney Mm -hmm. So you see, and this will just, uh, as I was said, you have the, the pre-renal uh, kidney injury, you have the intra-renal, and you have the post-renal. The post is the one that is, uh, let's say, from the bladder and coming up, the infection from there. The pre is, you know, from the, uh, the, 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 the blood supply and all the intral is between the kidney itself. Mm -hmm. So you see, so it's very important. So we have to, uh, anytime nature calls, we have to answer. Mm -hmm. It's either the urine or going to the big one, the, the go to defecation. Mm. So you have to go. You don't say, that, okay, let me wait. Okay, I can keep it. I can keep my urine. Don't keep the urine. Mm. If you feel the arch, because signal has been sent that, yes, you have to empty it. So go and empty the bladder. Mm. Okay, that's very good. And consume low salt. Mm. It's very, very, well, you know, here we don't have, you don't, uh, uh, you talk about the jimbos and then the other stuff. It's very, so people, they think that the, the, the beauty of the food is the taste. Mm -hmm. No, it's the nutrients that is found in the food that is the most important. Yes, you have the taste in the mouth. As you said, it stops in the mouth. Mm -hmm. But what goes inside, it's very, very important. Mm -hmm. So we have to reduce salt intake. Okay, we have to rehydrate ourselves. You know, it's very important. Let's take a lot of fluid. Here it's very hot. Let's take a lot of fluid. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's, it, uh, it's, it's, it's very, very important. And we do a lot of exercise, quit smoking, alcoholism. Uh, if time allow me, that was just yesterday. Mm -hmm. I, I, I saw a patient mm -hmm. came and then complained. He said, yes, um, I smoke weed. <laughs> I said, okay. He said, but like I, two years ago, I smoked weed and then I black out. Oh. I said, okay. Then he said, and then from there, I observed yesterday also, I smoked weed, I black out. I told him, he said, uh, what do you think is the cause? I said, well, uh, I don't know. But one thing I know for sure, you smoke with you black out, quit do it and see what will happen. Mm -hmm. He said, even my mind went there, but you know, I smoke weed because I don't have appetite. <laughs> you see how the youths, how you think, how yeah. do you, how, how youths think uh, nowadays. Yeah, the perception. So, yeah, the perception is very, very uh, crazy. Mm -hmm. So we have to, as you said, this platform, we have to use this platform, talk to the public. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very, very important. You know, your health, uh, uh, Hippocrates, mm -hmm. like the, the, uh, the, the father of modern medicine, mm -hmm. said, die food is die medicine. So you see, what you consume, it's very, very important. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we have to know, the public have to know what they consume, and they have to know their health. They have to take ownership of their health. Mm -hmm. You don't joke with it. Don't allow anybody to, uh, uh, to, uh, to feed you with this myth. You understand? If you, if, you have, if you feel discomfort, go to the hospital. If you don't feel anything, at least you six months, you are okay, your body is working fine. 
Remember, you eating all those things. The kidneys are working, the heart is working, the liver is working. Even a machine, you have to go and do what they service. call it. service. Mm-hmm. So at times, go to the hospital and service yourself. Yeah, definitely. It's very important. Do regular checkup is very, very important, mm-hmm. uh, Mr. Banya. That's uh, uh, I will yes. encourage the viewers mm-hmm. to uh, do these things and then take ownership of your health. Mm-hmm. Okay, always adhere to medications. If you feel discomfort, go to the hospital. But do not only uh, wait for discomfort. Mm-hmm. If you sit for six months, one year, you don't feel anything. Don't mm-hmm. think that you're okay. Mm-hmm. Go, because the, 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 the body can adopt. But go also and then um, check yourself. The earlier, the better. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Um, uh, quickly in, in, in Mandinka. Coming, Nakacha uh, Habi, because just to be able to pour ka information on pass across so man ngi kan do quickly pour ka a cinq ans lié euh même ka tiaka nu ndabe fono ba ni sedam sa jama fono je comme na topic ko be nyame bi wolam ni kidney injury wolam comme molme anko la ko kilol ka problème on soro so bi wolam na ka tiati na tana ku jamal ka tiaka ko nyin kono maybe anglais kan nyin do na ka tiaka na tana dum wala kono wolam ko wolme ka kidney injury ni mun ku le ka sabu and then imari mun dadi ka sifal bi nyanta mel talala ibemel um ibemel talala wala ibemel bulala mel mel be itanka la pour yekin ni injuri soro abol kono wolem doloti mol men ka dolomi nga realize ko jama bi je ñum len ka kid ni problem soro jama bi je ka kay mol len men ka dolomi wala mel yalan ko ka sika saba wala ile ne ka sika saba so ñu ni mo mol len ti me yalan ko am jama 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 ka kid ni problem soro le anim fana mol men ko involved ta accident kono comme ye ye direct injuri soto into the uh, um, um, kidney wo fana sa sa bu nole wala fana ikasi jama jama ito mari ni jala ni jala mutu yemuta wala ni sumuna yemuta ikasi ka muta yemu ka tariya kata jonkon to wolbe mu kulati me yalon ko ase mo la kidney ni felen di nole so ni nata na jibe fana la be banju ni ka fo dame hemodialysis ni tara je bi mo be sita no jere yeta ya ye wala information ni ninka about the place ibalon na ko to nyato nya kidni mu fenne de meyan ka be gambe nol toro kam bakele sainten abe abe la fakan ne anu mol la nyaabe kasiri ngala anu kol mel ka sabu wolem mol jama bi je fanan kudo fanan be je wolem mol men ka wuli do rong ikata pharmacie ngode kata ka borol sanje ka do nga pharmacie jamal so don na fenko kono na sato kono ite mari ya sasa do rong because ite altele wala di ngoy sasa do rong ah ya sam ya sam pharmacie ngode ya fa eta prosta mon sey kungobe kende yalla le wala you know wol be mu fenne de meyan ko problem wol lam so and o borol mi be min kan alon ko ni borol ni min abitala system o ni ko an nga bitak kidney ni to pour kidney ni yata aya aya senendi ana mon kidney ni problem bara ase heart problem no le wala liver ni do ni wol keta ba de la kidney ni fana mina problem o sonna jere so har madi ngo balo ala ya dada ke nyalla me yalon ko inya ndaka atike ya bakele so bi nakacha keta wolti nte nga kuma jamal kacha bar nta be fono la bat ni mu kun ku dan dan de mel yalan ko se fono molie pour molie kala mota wo nyama so men na lundango fanan tentula mba je la mba falatul fanan la mul lal meyankal be la meyankal hana madi yalam hana madi ya mun naso wole fanan ti and then i bari ala isla ko you know ni be diam kan ise ku jama tuno ko male wallay se fem fam fanan fono le meyalam ka se modol fanan manu le bat tol be jang for the public interest wala nan kana nan jang every topic so kidney injury ata mu fenen mi ngo topic ko nyi nda ba no la ngalom ben la lunta ma ba sur la jande ko teke wa dimanche ko tan pour nga ko nyi discuss men binala nan ning statistical binala nan pour ka tan dal la ko am ala ala problem mo nyimbe sembo warli nyaame gambia ko no jang so time mo yen so jande ba ten du lambal jela nal ba di malam te lamin banja aning Uh, Mr. Mohamed Ndaw Malik Ndaw Malik Ndaw sorry <laughs> so thank you very much um ba fala ala baraka fo wati ko tan inshallah okay. if you want to receive monies from uk europe usa Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world, Supersonics Money Transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network in the Gambia, you can now receive your monies anywhere you are from Khartoum to Koina with less hassle. Yes! You can receive monies from your family and friends in UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world with our safe, secure, fast and convenient service that offers you the largest selection of payout locations in the Gambia. Supersonics Money Transfer. We are currently in 34 African countries and counting, giving you quality money remittance services that are second to none. Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. Mm. 
ngi kon ta barakaw barakaw mu na bekeer na bekeer im babu wolo aka kenu nyameng ni ko aka kenu nyameng muntu adol be nyadile parce que ni amoy ko adol ni ciosano ka hadama dingol le signifie ite mu jumale ite bota jumale bala wolo fanal bota jumale fanal bala ni na lan tekkel sa ada aso ciosano aka kenu nyameng ni ma amé dem babu ko ni di ni ko jibé e ko aka lon ko yemem fo xama sa ada aso ciosano mota gamien tabin tv ak ibu ak babu ni tok ñu ne ñu fok ñu du na sun azaz di ak sun ci sant ñu to alfal ke la di mbayali ke kunu no ñaadi le ke kunu ñaadi le ko bu tero lo bang fo dum e ka dum rol le di la bang fo e ka mum fel le di la ñu programme mo le bi o be seene andi la kon ke na ku ne ga bo bu ke xam sa azaz ci sant fu nga baye ko sama fu nga baye ko ñu to alfalu ila sun ko ndi wala ke pare ñaadi le ila dum fe ngol fanal be ñaadi le ko mum dum fe sifal le fanal dum ñu programme mo le fanal be o yitandi la nena lan ko watti sa and and wodal na fegg fofam tel dindi manka je ke balka julo city yiro balay ka fo finja julo ga ko be siring e be kuma jijalla kumol bitay do tarikol fula dindi wolie lu do am demma 